Good evening. My name is Steve Lieberman. I'm the chairman of the board of Yeshiva Chodavei Torah. And I'd like to welcome all of you on behalf of the board of directors of YCT to YCT's 11th annual tribute dinner celebrating our 15th year as a yeshiva. Welcome. Okay. It is absolutely fitting on this occasion that we are here to honor the visionary founder of Yeshivat Chavavei Torah, Rabbi Avi Weiss. A man with a tireless drive to improve the world around him and to connect with every Jewish soul and also the people without whom Rabbi Weiss could not have accomplished any of this. His lovely and brilliant wife, Toby. And their extraordinary children, Alana, Dina, and Dove. Now I'd like to tell you, and this won't be a surprise, that it took us four years four years to convince Rav Avi to agree to be honored at this event. He said, it's not me, it's the students. It's not me, it's the faculty. It's not me, it's Rav Linzer. It's not me. He said, and besides, if you honored me, who would come? <laughs> and you know what? He was serious. Tonight we have an unbelievable turnout. We have not the 400 people that we had expected, not the 500 people that we had dreamed of, not 600 people, not 650. We have close to 700 people here tonight. And Rav Avi, I think you have your answer. The people who came, they're your friends, and they're here to support you and your family. I'd like to recognize somebody without whom this yeshiva would not have been brought into existence, the chairman of the board of YCT for the first 10 years of existence, Howard Jonas. Thank you, Howard, for all you did to bring the yeshiva into existence. Since YCT was founded in 1999, it has been on an, am on an amazing journey. During that time, YCT has graduated 85 Rebbeim. Of the 85, 81 are currently practicing their profession as rabbis in congregations, on college campuses, in Jewish organizations, or as educators in Jewish day schools. 81 out of 85, that's a 95% placement rate. And I don't think there's a yeshiva anywhere in the world that can boast that number. This has been a very successful year for YCT. On July 1, a new president stepped into Rav Avi's shoes, Rabbi Asher Lopatin. And Rabbi Lopatin, with the advice and guidance of Rav Avi, is leading YCT to new heights and new successes. And it, it was a bloodless coup. We didn't have to take over Crimea, nothing like that. A very, very smooth transition. And one suggested by this very, very modest man, Rav Avi. The yeshiva is growing. We have had an extremely successful recruiting year. And based on current projections, we believe that next year we'll have approximately 10 to 12 students in the first year class, and a total of 45 students at the yeshiva studying for rabbinical ordination. This is the largest student body 
we have ever had. And through the extraordinary generosity of the people in this room and many others, YCT has also had its most successful fundraising year ever. During that, during that time frame, we have received increased gifts from many longtime friends. We have received significant new gifts from our new friends. Our fundraising this past six months, and please pay attention to this number, including money raised for this dinner, is more than $3.7 million. Give yourselves a round of applause. This financial success would not have been possible without the support of the Jim Joseph Foundation. One of the country's best known and most respected foundations in the field of Jewish education. In 2011, the Jim Joseph Foundation awarded YCT a five, million, a five year, $3 million challenge grant. And last year, after we had met that challenge, provided YCT with an additional million dollars. Thank you to the Jim Joseph Foundation for this extraordinary support. And to our musmachim in the field, I want to read you a few quotes that came from the Jim Joseph Foundation when we met with them. I want you to listen to these words carefully. They're about you. Last year, the Jim Joseph Foundation told us that YCT is among the elite institutions that it funds. It said our graduates are consistently stellar, are remarkable human beings, and that the quality of YCT educators is jaw-dropping. And I In all respects, by all metrics, YCT has joined the major leagues of rabbinical schools in the United States. With 85 graduates in the field, a number that we expect will double in the next six years. YCT has more influence in Orthodox synagogues, in Jewish day schools, and on college campuses than any other academic institution. But let me tell you a story that I think proves that YCT has made it to the very top rung. About a year and a half ago, Ruthie Simon, who's our director of placement, <laughs> received a telephone call from the head of a search committee in the Pacific Northwest. And the search committee member said to Ruthie, Ruthie, we're very disappointed. We interviewed one of your graduates, and he just was not up to par. He didn't know his stuff. We had expected much more from a YCT graduate. Ruthie, of course, was shocked and said, what's the name of the graduate? And she was told it wasn't a YCT graduate. <laughs> so she asked for the resume that the person had submitted. Harvard University, Goldman Sachs, and Smicha from YCT. When she checked it out, he didn't have a Harvard degree. He didn't work at Goldman Sachs. And he didn't get smicha from YCT. But I thought that it was particularly significant. And it took Ruthie a while to realize this. <laughs> that when he fraud, fraudulently changed his resume, those were the three institutions he picked. <laughs> Harvard, Goldman Sachs, and YCT. <laughs> I want to tell you just one very brief story about Rav Avi. And I know all of you in this room have, have your own stories. It actually relates to the Jim Joseph Foundation. About a year ago, Rav Asher and Rav Avi and I had gone to San Francisco to visit the Jim Joseph Foundation. It was a critically important meeting, and we were going to a hotel to do some last minute preparations so that we can be impressive to the Jim Joseph Foundation. Well, someone comes up to Rav Avi and says, Rabbi Weiss, are you here for the demonstration? And I said, oh, no. <laughs> he said, what demonstration? I said, oh, no, again. <laughs> there, was a, an Israeli there were Israeli demonstrators and Palestinian demonstrators, and they were on different sides of the streets, and they had signs. And Rav Avi says, I've got to go. <laughs> so he goes to the demonstration, and Rabbi Lopatin and I prepare for the meeting. We're it's 10 minutes before the meeting. We leave the hotel. Rav Avi is still at the demonstration. We, we signal to him, he ignores us. We go over and grab his, his, his jacket and we pull him, he ignores us. 
We physically drag him away from the demonstration. And he said, no, 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 no. No, I belong here. He said, I belong here for two reasons. One, they need me. And number two, this is where I belong because there's a Jew in need. You know, that's Rabbi Weiss. We eventually got him to the Jim Joseph Foundation and we got the grant, but uh, it was tough work. And now I'm going to ask you to turn your attention to the screens to see a beautiful, beautiful movie about Rabbi Weiss and his family. What an extraordinary film about an extraordinary family that has truly changed the world. Our thanks to Alana Lefkowitz, a gifted and sensitive filmmaker whose work has truly captured the essence of the Weiss family. Thank you, Alana. Our thanks to Robert Kalfas for generously sharing the photographs that he has collected over the years documenting the work of Rabbi Weiss. And to Glenn Richter and Alan Miller and Bernie Glickman, Rabbi Weiss's comrades in arms and activism, who shared materials from their archives for the exhibit and for the film. And thank you to Ellie Kranzler for the musical background of the film. And for being Rav Avi's muse. And thanks to Shuli for, well, everything. With respect to this wonderful dinner, I have two categories of specific thank yous. The first is to the YCT staff who have put in hundreds and hundreds of hours to make this evening perfect. Noya Levy, Mati Friedman, Gila Romanoff, Sarah Levy, and the entire staff at YCT. And to Robin Bodner, who has put in enormous time to make this evening what it is. And also, to the woman who organized this entire event, Belda Lindenbaum. It's extraordinary, really extraordinary. Thank you, Belda. The second category of thank yous is to an institution. It's to the spiritual home of Rabbi Weiss and his family the Hebrew Institute of Riverdale, the Bayit. This evening is as much a celebration about the Bayit as it is about the Weiss family. You are, as I hope you all know, the incubator in which Rav Avi developed the principles of open orthodoxy that are the heart and the soul of YCT. In fact, it's the Bayit that was really the first stage of YCT. And the Bayit, Rav Avi trained and sent forth many of the greatest young rabbis of this generation, and some who are not so young anymore. Orthodox rabbis such as Shmuel Hertzfeld, and Yosef Konefsky, and Aaron Frank, and many, many others. The Bayit was the proving ground for YCT. And then a more specific thank you to the Bayit. Thank you for allowing YCT to honor Rav Avi and his family during the 15th year of YCT's existence, which is also, I believe, the 40th year during which Rav Avi has been at the Bayit. Our debt to the Hebrew Institute is enormous. Thank you. And now let me invite you to enjoy your dinner. And after the main course and before dessert, we will begin the rest of the formal program, including remarks from Rav Avi. Thank you.